Hello, good morning. Today is a great day to have a good day. Um, and for me especially because it's my birthday. I'm so excited. Um, normally birthdays are just another day, but um, I don't know. This one I'm just excited for. I'm happy for. So as you're hopping on, do me a favor, write happy birthday in the comments. Make me feel extra special. Um, and I want to share with you the real reason why I'm going back into teaching. How does that sound? Um, so you guys, in case if you are new here or maybe don't know much about my story, I'm going to take these off so that way the glare isn't, isn't so bad. But, um, a little bit about my story is when I, okay, I was horrible at math. Absolutely horrible. Um, I wanted to be good at it. Well, in elementary school, I was good at it, like the basic stuff. But then when I got to high school, like things just didn't make sense to me and things just didn't click. And I had this 10th grade math teacher who was a little bit kooky. Um, I think she's still maybe teaching or maybe um, she's retired in the last few years, but um, she used to wear crowns when she taught and like use scepters and she was the track coach. And I just like really wasn't understanding a lot of the math concepts. And so I went in after school one day and I was like, can you please help me understand like this sine, cosine and tangent, like trig functions, it's just not making sense to me. And she related it in a way to soccer. And then like the light bulb turned on and I was like, oh my gosh, like when teachers can teach different ways, then I can learn and it makes me feel amazing. And so when I was in 10th grade, that's when I decided I wanted to be a high school math teacher. So I want to know in the comments, Growing up, did you have a profession that you wanted to be? And when did that happen for you? Um, growing up my whole life, I actually wanted to be a professional soccer player. And then in 10th grade, I was like, okay, backup plan. If I don't become a soccer player, then I'm going to become a math teacher. Um, and so I actually got into college because of soccer. And um, I actually was talking to the national team to have them come and watch me my senior year, but um, my body just kind of gave out on me. And so I continued my education um, schooling and got my bachelor's degree in math secondary education. And so I was blessed enough that right out of college, I landed a job and it was a phenomenal job. I actually taught seventh grade math and eighth grade science in Lyman, Wyoming um, at the intermediate school. And, um, I and I lived in Rock Springs at the time. So I had to drive an hour to go to work and then an hour back. So it was a lot, but my kids were amazing. I still am connected to some of them and I feel bad, you know, for your teacher there but um I taught there for a year and then they went to a four-day school week so I was like okay like you can't turn that down like same pay only teaching four days a week and so I taught again uh for that second year and then the third year I like uh, the second year after the end of that like I just got fat if I'm just being honest like I just was eating on the drive there eating on the drive back um I was putting on the pounds I wasn't having enough time to exercise in the morning or in the evening because I left so early to go to work and I got back so late and so you know I just got fat and I was like you know this is a lot and I can make just as much if I just substitute teach here in Rock Springs and I'm sure I can have a job every single day. And so I decided like, okay, I'm, I'm going to resign from that job. Now I will tell you, um, I loved, loved, loved my principal that I had there that hired me on like the fact that she hired on a brand new first year teacher to um, travel, you know, that that far of a distance to teach in our school, like was such a blessing and it was meant to be. And I remember my very first year end of year evaluation, she told me that she was that I was the best math teacher that she has seen, especially coming out of college, but even like in her career, like I was one of the best teachers, most organized classroom management, all the things like best teachers that she had seen. But her one suggestion to me was that I needed to let the, the students know that I liked them. And that has stuck with me. I mean, this was back in 2009, I graduated. So, so the end of the school year of 2010. And so this is 13 years later. And that has rung true to me since then, you know, making sure that people know that I like them because I, I mean, of course I like you. I'm working so hard. I'm, I'm doing so much. I want to help you so much. And, you know, I, I do the same thing in my business where, you know, like, 
like, I want to help you. I don't want to just sign you up and like leave you hanging. Like I want you to reach your goals. I want the light bulb to click on for you. I want you to have success in your life. Um, and that's why I work so hard, but like just taking time to like slow down and have that personal connection. And so that's really helped me the last 13 years in my business. And, and all the things that I've done is to like slow down to make sure that I'm making that connection. So anyway, quit at Lyman. Um, and ended up getting hired on at Rock Springs. And it's crazy because I actually did my student teaching in Green River and Green River had an opening and everybody on the interview committee already know how I taught because I student taught there and I did a great job. And so I was like, oh, this is easy. Like I'm in. And Green River is only a 15 minute drive. And um, I ended up not getting that job. And I was just like, oh, it hurts so bad. And like, I didn't understand why. And uh, turns out that the math teacher here in Rock Springs applied for the Green River job and got it. So then a job opening happened in Rock Springs. Now, get this. I don't know anybody that lives here. I didn't know anybody on the interview committee. Like I have had two years of experience at an intermediate school in a very, very tiny town. Um, and I interviewed for the Rock Springs position and I was able to get it. And I was able to teach geometry, algebra two and advanced algebra two for four years plus get to coach the high school girls varsity soccer team and um, just really turned around the program. I got coach of the year and just it was incredible opportunity. And after four years of teaching, I had Beckham who was one. We had an amazing nanny that would come to the house and take care of him while I was at work and Derek was at work and um, she was actually going to be moving. So I wasn't going to have her the next year. And me and Derek knew that we wanted to get pregnant with baby number two because we wanted our kids to be about two years apart. Um, so I remember it was December of 2013 and I was just like not loving my job anymore. I was so overwhelmed. I was so stressed. I was just like very unhappy. I was missing like Derek's on shift work. So I would get to see him like four days out of the whole month, um, on the weekends because I was literally working from sun up to sundown between coaching soccer and teaching. I was teaching on my prep hour. I was like, just really burned out. And some of you parents are really horrible. Okay. Cause you want to sit there and blame the math teacher who's showing up early, who's staying late, who's, you know, taking their own personal time to prepare these lessons, you know, and I'm doing songs and dances and I'm doing direct instruction and I'm doing hands-on instruction and I'm doing projects and this, that, and the other, and your kid's still not getting up, but they're not willing to come in. They're not willing to ask questions. Um, and they just like have this attitude that's like, I suck at math. I suck at math. And of course you're going to suck at math. If that's what you keep saying. And so like, I tried to teach kids like, Hey, you got to have a good attitude. But some of your parents had a really bad attitude. And then you'd send me, meant send me emails. And it just, <laughs> I mean, it just burned me out. It just made me sad. And I was just like, I can't do this anymore. It's not worth it anymore to me. Um, so I had this friend who was doing online sales and I finally reached out to her after watching her for 10 months and being like, okay, tell me about your business, right? So I taught my last semester. I ended up resigning from teaching my home business. I took off. I was able to replace my teacher income by the time I got my last teacher check. So that was incredible. And I have been home for the last nine years raising my two kids. And Paisley has never known a mom that is going back to work. Okay. So that's the beginning of the story. Okay. And now I'm working into the next phase of my life, which is really exciting. So nine years of being home, um, I built my last business up to five figure a month income. I met amazing people. I was number 68 in the company when I left and making really, really good money. But like, I just didn't align with the way that things were going. I didn't align with the way that they were treating social or their, their reps. And I didn't align with the way that they were um, treating their customers. And I didn't align with the product anymore. And I can't sell something that I don't believe in a hundred percent. And I can't sell something that like, I would, I could never invite people to do something with me that I didn't believe in a hundred percent. So I said goodbye to that company. I started a new company last June. I started from ground zero and good news. I was still able to replace what I was making as a teacher. And so still bring, being in that full-time income. Now, was it five figure income? Is it not yet? Um, insert income disclosure. Like I'm not making any income claims, but if you work hard, there's no caps on um, network marketing. So it's, it's truly amazing. And, um, but I am still making more than what I'm going to be making teaching, which is just absolutely incredible. So why am I choosing to go back into teaching? Um, 
let me start at start. So here, well, let me not start at start because we already did that and we're 10 minutes into this video, so I won't start back over. <laughs> but um, being a teacher, you have to renew your license every five years. And so I taught for a total of what was that six years. And so, you know, being a first year teacher, I had all of the credits that I needed to for my license for five years. And then being teaching for six years, I had all of everything I needed to renew um, during that next five year term. And then I had everything that I needed to renew because I had my credits still um, to renew me for the next five years. And so my teaching license actually expires in 2025. So in two years. And so as I was looking at that, I was like, ah, I'm not going to lose this. Like I worked so hard, so many hours in co-library, shout out to UW, go pokes. Um, I worked so many hours getting this degree. I'm just not going to let it go. And so I was like looking at online classes that I could take. And I was like, I'm going to have to spend all this money so that way I can renew my license to teach, which I'm not even doing. And so I was like, you know, I'm thrifty. I like to save money. I like to make money, not spend money. And so what if I like start being more active in my school district. So then that way I can attend their teacher development trainings and um, can get enough credits that way I can renew. And so that was kind of like the first thing that happened. That was last um, December. Why do I make all my decisions in December? Probably because I'm depressed. I don't know. But um, so I was um, thinking about like ways I could get these credits. And so I actually started subbing in our school district in um, second semester last spring and I was just subbing in the math classes just to help out because I have a math degree and that way teachers could leave it feeling like good that um, they had somebody in their classroom that could actually help their kids. So I just was subbing in the math classroom or, um, you know, I subbed in the library at the kids' elementary school. I subbed Beckham's class twice, which he loved. Um, and then one time I showed up thinking that I had to sub and I didn't have to sub. And I'm like, well, while I'm here and I already made plans to sub, do you need me anywhere? So I ended up subbing in a family consumer class, which I would never do again. So anyway, um, I just started subbing this spring. And like, even though I didn't like know these kids or have my own classroom or have my own curriculum, like just being able to help the light bulb click on for them in that short amount of time that I was in their classroom, like it just filled me with so much joy again. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I am a good teacher um, because I care about what I'm doing. I'm invested in what I do. And then I just have a variety of ways to be able to teach it. Because like I said, I really sucked at math when I was in high school. And so um, as I was subbing in these classes, I was thinking to myself, well, maybe I could go back to work. Maybe I could um, go back full time to get my credits or like even part time to get my credits. And it just so happened that they needed three teachers at the junior high and five math teachers at the high school. And the junior high is just like literally half a block this way. Like I could just walk there. I can see it from my house basically. And so um, I actually, I can see it from my house completely. Like I could just show you on my computer. It's just literally right there. So it's like, I can get a job at the junior high. I like that level. It's simple math. I can just walk there. The kids, you know, like are, if they get home before me, then boom, I'm just, I'm just right there. So I just felt really good about the junior high. So I put in my application in probably March, April time. And I just put in the junior high. And I was really looking for like any uh, very like, I mean, just seventh or eighth grade math is what I would be teaching. And um, also, like anything that was part time, because then that way I'd at least get to send my kids off or um, be there when they got home. So anyway, um, can you guys like say something, leave some comments? I don't know, like no, like no comments are popping up. Maybe it's like me, but like, Say hello. I see Sophie there on Instagram. Hey, Sophie, thanks for hopping on. Um, but you guys on Facebook, don't be so quiet. Don't be so shy. Like, tell me what you're relating to. Tell me your experience with math. Like, let's hear it. But anyway, so uh, I thought, oh, for sure, I'm going to get a job at the junior high. Like, they know me. I've been in there subbing. Like, of course, I'm going to get one. And they were the ones that telling me, like, hey, we need a math teacher. We need a math teacher. You should come back. You should come back. So Anyway, I'm like waiting, 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 waiting. End of the school year happens May and I don't have a call and they have hired two math teachers. There's still one position open. Nobody at the high school has been been um, hired, but I'm like, I'm not doing high school again. Like I'm not doing high school. Those parents are horrible. Um, the kids like are different now than they were 10 years ago. And so they kind of scare me. 
And so I was like, I'm not doing high school. Well, then I get a message from the high school, one of the high school math teachers saying like, hey, did you put your application in? Like the principal's looking for it. They don't see it. And I like knew it's because I didn't check high school. So I like logged in that day, checked high school. The next day I got a text message like um, asking if I'd come in for an interview, um, came in for an interview, ended up getting a phone call saying like, hey, we're going to offer you this job. Do you accept? And I said, I will accept if I could do the satellite school, not the high school, because we actually have two schools here now, um, all within the same school. But the satellite schools for like the academy kids, um, the higher level students. Um, and I didn't want to teach like a consumer math. I wanted to teach high level math. So anyway, I ended up getting the job officially. And I'm teaching two courses of advanced algebra two, two or sorry, two courses of advanced geometry two regular geometries and two algebra twos. And so I'm really, really excited because these are um, courses that I taught before. I have binders and lesson plans, like I'm so organized. Um, so I have like all the stuff that I didn't throw away. I've been storing for the last 10 years in my garage and basement for teaching. And so um, my classroom is set up and like, I'm just really excited to get it back into it. And so like, why am I going back into teaching? Like, what's the real reason? Um, it started with needing credits right? Like I just needed those credits and I didn't want to go to school and take classes that I really didn't care about when I would much rather just be in the, in the school with the kids. So it started for that. Um, it started because I really, really love teaching. I love teaching you guys here online. I love teaching in my business. I love teaching math, not because I'm good at it. You know, here's the secret. When you become a math teacher, they give you the answer key to everything. <laughs> okay. So you can use the strategy, work backwards. Um, you have the answer, work backwards to find the process. But um, I just love being able to teach that. And, you know, number three is kids need somebody that they can depend on, somebody that they can trust. And I want to be that person for them. I want to be that safe space that they can learn and grow and have success. And if life is rough on them, like I want to make sure that I'm that teacher that cares, that shows that they care. If I go back to that first um, evaluation with that principal and I am just such a better person than when I was teaching 10 years ago. Now that I have kids, like my heart goes out to moms who maybe feel like, maybe their kids aren't getting treated fairly or, you know, you want to make sure that your kids are protected and safe. And now that I have kids, I know what that feels like. And so um, being in the classroom and being able to just be that role model for them and help them learn to love math again, that's ultimately what I want. And um, I am excited because my report time um, is a little bit after the kids. And so I'll be able to drop them off and actually go stage um, pilot view and then the satellite school like all along the same road here in town and so I can drop off Paisley at school I can drop off Beckham at school and then I can go to school and they do get out before me about uh, 30 minutes before me and so if they want to they can just walk over to my classroom and like hang out until I'm done or they can ride the bus home and I'll be home shortly after or Derek will be home for him so um, it just works out really really well and I'm still gonna be working my business full-time I'm still like thriving with it even though I'm super busy with teaching now um, and that and then I'm the tournament director I'm coaching two boys soccer teams and so you know if you're like I'm too busy to do a home business oh my gosh like get over yourself okay like I'm too busy to be doing a home business but I'll tell you diversifying your income and like having that paycheck and the fact that the fact that we get paid daily like I get emails it's like you just received money you just received money it's the best feeling ever and for what for me using products that I already want to use and just being willing to share them on my social media and you know if you are interested in doing this too like I already have all of your posts that you need to make I already have all of your word choices that you can send like I already have it all created because I've done it for the last 10 years and like it's same thing with teaching like I'm not afraid to start teaching again because I already have it I already know it. I already can teach it and I can do the same for you so um I'm just really excited i'm actually supposed to be at the cab in uh, seven minutes but luckily it's just right there just past the junior high so i'm gonna hop off and um get ready to go to work it is my birthday and somebody asked like do you have anything fun planned i'm like heck yes i do i worked out this morning i get to go do math curriculum beckham and paisley planned a fun carnival birthday for me in the backyard and i'm getting thai food and then tonight i get to end with a soccer board meeting and i freaking love those things okay all right so <laughs> I gotta go, but we'll see you guys later. Thanks for having me on. Bye.